My dear friends, praise the holy name of the Lord. Thank you for having us. Trinity Temerity, our Temerity. Uh, again, thank you. Thank you for having us wherever you are watching. Uh, you are looking for good news. Here we are. We are here to proclaim that. Okay, please call your friends, your family, even if you are enemies, please call them today. Something amazing, something wonderful, something great. You're going to really witness uh, a, a woman who lost her eyes. Okay, that's the story. And you will see what happened, okay? But you need to really, you know, uh, call your friends and let them all watch. It's very important. Those who are scheduled for uh, surgery, please, they need to they need to really hold on to this. They have to really. So, my friends, you know, again, thank you for tuning to our program. And, you know, you really come. Thank you for tuning again. Yes. And I let my sister Abina thank pray you. for all of, all of us. Thank, thank you, you, Abina, please. Thank yes. You. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, my Lord Jesus. Father, thank, thank you, Lord Father, Jesus. Son, and the Holy Spirit. Fountain of all the blessings. Yes, Thank you, Lord. my Lord. Holy God, holy mighty one, oh, yes, holy Lord. immortal one, have mercy have on mercy, us. Mercy. Your mercy new every day morning. You are the Alpha and Omega. You are the first and you are the last. Thank you are the beginning and you are the end. Yes, For your name, every knee shall bend. Every, every tongue confess every tongue. that you are a true living God. That's None right. other God before you or after you Thank must. You, we praise you, above you. You are worthy of all the praises. Yes, Belongs Father. to you, my Lord Thank Jesus. You. Thank you. We esteem your words, Master. Oh, yes, like Father. daily bread, Lord Jesus. More Day, than our daily than... beautiful Lord. Yes, Thank Lord. You. Yes. Thank you, dear God. Thank, Thank you, you for the daily bread. You and are the living bread. You are the living bread. You Thank, the you, living bread. Thank, you, Thank you for the Thank daily you. bread for every day you're giving us, Thank Lord you, Jesus. Lord. Thank you for the living water. Please, Lord, to sustain yes, each and every one of those who are watching right now. Yes, Master. Father. Yes. Thank you. Reach we and touch the them. And All Thank the you, dear Lord. ones who's watching us right Thank now, you, Father. God. Thank, Thank you. you. Reach and touch them as they are praying Thank you, Lord. for the various diseases they're going through, Lord Jesus. Let your healing hand be upon oh, yes. them. Yes. Let your nail pierced healing hand be Hallelujah. upon them, yes, Father. Your, let your precious immaculate blood be upon them oh, yes, without Lord. shedding of your blood there is no remission for no us remission period. Thank, thank you thank heal you, them lord jesus those who are going through cancer all kind of cancer burn every cell yes, of the lord. cancer right thank now in the, the name, of name of jesus they may see your hand every upon them right now father now. every you, disease need to leave right now, now in the, the name of jesus those who are blind open the blind eyes oh, to yes. see you lord open the deaf ears open thank the you, deaf ears to hear your word master open the stone heart to ponder your word Lord Hallelujah, you yes. are, I offer everyone at this moment dear God thank you master pray for the unborn babies we pray for them pray for the persecuted brothers and sisters around the globe we are praying for them pray for our network our CEO our staff and their families pray for America pray for our president father bless him and protect him Pray for my brother. He's going to speak your word. Anoint him. Anoint oh, yeah. all of us, those who are watching mm. right now. Let your blessing be upon them, Father. And I ask all this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 My friends, again, today, please call your friends. I know that you guys are sharing our program. I appreciate every one of you, you know, because this is our job. This is, you're all, we're all engaged in our father's business. That's all we are doing, okay? I mean, you know, it's not for uh, somebody, it's for everyone, for the body of Christ, as well as those who are about to be, you know, inducted into the body of Christ. That's our messages for the entire universe. That's why, you know, we don't box Christ. You know, we don't put him in a box and call, you know, whatever. So he is a king of the entire universe. You know, just let's rejoice. And, and you know what? Uh, let's, I, I let Sheila go to the Old Testament, Psalm 146, verse 8. Okay, today, uh, 146, verse 8. Um, please, if you're ready, please, can you go for 146, verse 8? The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. My dear friends, 
Yeah, this is the prophecy concerning the Messiah. He's going to show to the world, and David, David, thousand years before Christ, is already of foreseeing it. Prophecy is foreseeing, and you know what? Whatever prophecy, whatever prophesy, it's all about the one who anticipated the whole entire universe anticipated for one and only savior of the mankind one and only messiah you all know his name right dr luke says if you look for it acts chapter 4 verse 12 there is no other name okay this is exactly how he is gonna reveal him, re reveal himself okay my dear friends you know again i'll let you go to isaiah 29 verse 89 because remember today you're going to see an amazing testimony a very living testimony uh, of an amazing woman okay she come forward to share this testimony so that you know you are the testament for the lord you are the written epistle once you see this and you know what this is not just for you to really put it under the bushel but you know when you receive the miracle just go Glorify the Lord. That's why you are listening. That's why I'm proclaiming. So, Sheila, please. In that day, the deaf will hear the words of the scroll. Out of the gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind will see. Once more, the humble will rejoice in the Lord. The needy will rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. Look at the attributes of this Messiah. How do you know this? You know, when he shows up, and you know, one of the things, what is going to do it? You know, Matthew chapter 4, verse 18. You guys have to read it. You know, if Jesus come on the scene uh, in chapter 4, verse 4, what, what did he say? My dear friends, you know that? Man shall not, my sister was saying, uh, we esteem his word more than our daily necessities, daily food. That is Job chapter 23, verse 12. But any of my dear friends, you know, Jesus reiterates, he stands before uh, the enemy of, enemy of all enemy, mother of all enemies, Satan, uh, you know, on the scene 2,000 years ago. And you know what he says? Man shall not. He says, you know, why not you eat? Because that's how in the beginning, man by eating, he become a fallen creature. We lost everything. We lost the dominion and the authority and the power, my dear friends. So that's why, you know, you know, man become blind as uh, the enemy promised in the beginning in Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to 15, especially 5. It says like, you know, he, he promised, the enemy promised, if we eat this, what did he say? Your eyes will be open. open. Is that true? He's a liar from the beginning. Yes. That's the day we all are the blinders, everyone in the world. That's why my friends, you know, without seeing Christ, you and I are still, you know, we are under this heavy, what do you call it, blinders and shutters all over us. Wherever you are, you know, that way will be removed only wherever you are. I'm telling you, watching you tonight, you know, my dear friends, Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 14 to 17. Only when you know Christ, only when you know Christ deeply, when you allow him to come into your life, then that way will be taken. Because the enemy has already blinded, my dear friends. St. Paul addresses that in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1 to 4. He a blind fool the world. John says this entire universe, this entire world, my dear friends, in 1 John chapter 5, verse 19, it's all leaning towards the wickedness. The enemy has taken control, okay? But anyhow, Christ conquered him already 2,000 years ago. You know, you should know that good news. I should know the good news. And um, that's why, you know, when she, she read in uh, Isaiah 29, uh, what did she say? You know, do you remember? Uh, from the scroll, from the written words, there will be a time the people will proclaim, and at the end, you will be hearing. And by hearing, the Lord says, I will open your eyes. Yes. Right? My dear friends, you know, uh, the eyes of the blind will be open, okay? And that was the Messiah's job. You know, you are going through so many things. 
not only I'm talking about the physical eyes will be open, even our spiritual eyes should be open, my dear friends. That is the most important thing, you know, when you see this miracle, when you see what God can do now, yes. it is like the Lord is saying, look, I try to do this for you. Why? Because, you know, I'll let you read John chapter 9. You have to read it from 1 to 12 about a blind man. Because of my time constraints, you know, I'll let her read chapter 9, verse 39. Uh, 30, 7 to 39, but I'll let her read 39, please. And listen to this very carefully. Jesus said, for the judgment I have come into this world, right. so that the blind will see, and those who see will become blind. My friends, do you, agree, do you really hear that? You know, what the Lord is saying, here you come on the scene. All these Pharisees and Sadducees and the lawyers and the doctors of the scriptures, Tanakh and Kerubim and my dear friends, you know, or Nevim, you know, they were holding on to this and they were really expecting this Messiah is walking around them and they were so blindfolded. And look at what he said. Now on, those who are blind, see, we were in India, you know, my dear friends, we were able to see him. But people in Israel today, we need to pray for them. Uh, any, any of my uh, friends in Jewish uh, land in Israel, Rosh Hashanah for you guys, 29, okay? Happy Rosh Hashanah, new beginning. May the Lord open the eyes. May the Messiah really open your eyes. It's time for you guys, okay? Get ready. You know, you want to do a great, mighty things in your life. Remember what he promised before I let my uh, director roll. I let Sheila read uh, Isaiah chapter 35, verse 5. You know, this is what's going to happen. You are in the wilderness, today is going to bloom. If you are blind, you know, you're blindfolded, maybe physical blindness, you know, whatever, whatever uh, problems you're going through. But, you know, here is the one who conquered the dead, the one who come to redeem the mankind, the one who come to call you by your name, and he's already paid a ransom. And here, look what he, what he can do for you. Today, when you hear me today, just please chill. The eyes of the blind be open and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Yes, the mighty one of Israel. Okay, the mighty one of Israel. He came and now, you know what, my dear friends, he came 2,000 years ago. And you know, I let Sheila read uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 5. With that, we're going to see an amazing testimony. My dear friends, that's what I do. Remember, I, I, I meet people, and, you know, they are in this dire needs, you know, spiritual needs and physical needs, whatever needs. But, you know, my Lord can supply all the needs, wh wherever you are, you know. And I'll let her read that, and I'll come back. The blind receive the sight, the lame walk, those who have leprosy be cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is, is proclaimed. proclaimed to the poor. Blessed is anyone who does not stumble on the account of Oh, my dear friends, you heard it, right? And this was done 2,000 years ago. Look at the track record. Even today, very recently, the Lord could be able to do it. Even now, my dear friends, you could do it for you and me. A lady that, uh, you know, recently we know their families and, you know, they, they really, a oh, very serious thing, okay? Just listen. Uh, sh this uh, beautiful woman lost her eyesight. Hello? She lost her eyesight. And the next, what happens? You know, losing eyesight is not an easy joke, right? And my dear friends, you know, here, you know, she was suddenly driving and she completely become blurred. She, can, she was exited in the wrong place, whatever happened. And finally the doctors found, you know what? Uh, the, it's like, you know, optic nerve. You know the optic nerve? I'm really bringing some medical, uh, medical explanations and I'm not a, a medical doctor. You know, but my dear friends, you know, optic nerve is like the cable of fibers, right? Same thing, I mean, you know, this optic nerve that connects the eye with the brain was completely a wire, as disconnected. 
Okay? That is what happened to this woman. Irreversible damage. And best of the neurosurgeons and the doctors. The best of the hospital here. See, the Sinai is a great, one of the best in this United States. My dear friends, now you need to really hear. And I let my director uh, play that. Okay, R roll that director, please. Yes, my dear friends, just what we do. We just go, we assemble before the surgery. I preach and I teach and I anoint them. See this lady that I'm anointing. And just see what happens. She was supposed to so go. Yes. Yeah, but uh, before, before Thursday, mm -hmm. um, she went to the hospital. Oh, yeah, after the, after the procedure. That was my second procedure for my left eye. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh, but that was before, but I, I will share the one before. After we came from Norma's house. Okay. So I have been After the anointing. praying the prayers that she gave me. Right, right. I just don't have that oil. I mean, now I have. <laughs> okay. So, because um, I have, I, I was feeling a little discomfort. So I would pray. First, I have a hard time, that small piece of prayer, I have a hard time memorizing. Right, right. Yeah. I said, how come I have a hard time memorizing? I have to look at the paper where right. I wrote it. Right. Wow. Until it came. Mm. Until, until, you know, I, I would just say it in my mind. Beautiful. Yeah. We even look at the word strike. I asked my husband, what is strike? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, so we, we look it up in Google. Yeah. So it's a way of being it. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we, we kind of think about it. So. Yeah, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the strike of yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Yes, yeah. my. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. By his stripe, so, um, I said you will be healed. Yeah. yeah. Until uh, I don't have to look at the prayers this morning, but yeah. I was looking and by myself. Uh, I was praying and praying until I have that uh, procedure last. Tuesday. Last Tuesday? Last, last week? week? Last week. Oh, last week. This is happening in the so, operation uh, the theater. Before we were there for the pre-op. Mm -hmm. And then on the on the day that we were there, of course, they have to prepare me and everything. So I was already in the in the surgery room. I was already there. Very complicated ready. surgery, you know, my friends. The, the neurosurgeon was right. there talking to me, talking to my husband. And they already put me in the surgery table itself. She was on the oh, surgery yeah. table. Oh, but I was still, they haven't, they haven't put the anesthesia yet. The anesthesiologist, two of them were there and the nurses were there. And then, after that, I forgot already what happened. Oh my God, a little too long. And um, I woke up. I woke up, but when I woke up, I thought it was, I slept only for like a few hours. Less than the previous one. You know, the first one. So I thought, you know what time is it? How come I I Red. and I I thought I would wake up Red. in the Red. in the report in the ICU in ICU you know from the, the surgery doctors prescribe doctors so after Red. the surgery is supposed to be in ICU. Yeah. Please. So I asked the nurse, am I in ICU? Very long said, no, you're surgery, not in ICU. my dear friends. Why in recovery room? Why in recovery room? She said the doctor did not. Uh, do any more the procedure. He did the diagnostic. So he started me, you know, he put yeah, the right. catheter mm -hmm. from here up to my neck, yeah, up to the artery. Mm -hmm. And then he saw what he did the last time. He said, it was, I mean, he talked first to my husband because, you know, I, I was still sleeping. He, he saw what he did the last time and he said it was already cured. And he was looking at the ones that he was supposed to start with. Right. And he said, there's nothing to do anymore. So, <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Look Hallelujah. at what the Lord can do, my dear friends. Praise the Lord. What a miracle. What a miracle. I texted you. Yeah. you didn't I texted you, doctor. No, before, before the procedure. My, my. Yeah, I said, I was just Sure Look at what the Lord can do, my dear friends. And the time yeah, right. I would, the, yeah. the doctor. Yeah. 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 Yeah
So actually, the neurosurgeon talked first to my husband because I was still sleeping. I didn't wake up yet. Oh, you were already in the Okay. No, no, after, after the, that, that he didn't have to do the conventional anymore, he just did the yeah. diagnostics and he found out that I am, okay. everything he has nothing to do anymore. Wow. So Praise you, Jesus. For you, for sure. Mm -hmm. and, you know, because I asked your husband, how long, the, how, what time is the surgery? He's saying, like, we need to go right there. I don't know how many hours it's going to be. Five hours. Yeah, you know, he's saying five, six, seven, five, like, six hours. Seven. So, mm -hmm. like, you know, I really asked them what time is that because I want to pray on the time, you know. Because Sheila was saying, like, you know, oh, it may be, they may be going around 9.30, probably. Yeah, start at 9.30. What time is it? No, we were supposed to be there at 9.30. 9.30. Oh, okay. yeah. For all the pre off and everything. Yeah. But in here, you know, it was such a thing. That's the only thing that makes us happy. You know? mm -hmm. God, thank you for what you did, Lord. Thank and you. And you blew this once again. Like, you know, it, it, it works for everyone, not just for her. Mm -hmm. Not for us. Not just for him. Not for her. It is for... My dear friends, you heard it. You know, she was in the operation table my dear friends imagine this it's one of the complicated surgery in the world you know the best of the neurosurgeons assembled uh, all the medical personals you know after they did all this uh, pre-op I mean you know they have they, they told her and her husband it's gonna take about six to seven hours can you imagine six to seven hours to restore whatever they are they plan to do but my dear friends, you know what? Just that anointing previous, and you know, we were praying and she was praying, so desperately seeking, the one will come to open the eyes of the blind. And you know, here he showed up, and the doctors were awestruck when they, before they tried to, you know, do this operation. My dear friends, perform this operation. They see, they, they really awestruck because all the nerves, all the bundle of nerves, all the way are connected again. Without, the, none of the doctors could able to touch her because the touch. Remember, you know, today, you know, as you heard, you would have, you, I have no time, Mark chapter 8, verse 23 to 25. The blind eyes, you know, all the need, the guy needed the DNA of Jesus Christ, my dear friends. Can you imagine how the DNA is still today? You know, touched, you know, we just touched and prayed over her. And today we saw very expensive surgery. What an asshole. I mean, they have to go through so much. And my dear friends, you know, in a matter of hours, in a matter of minutes, the Lord showed up on the day prior to that itself. She's supposed to go on a Tuesday for the surgery. 
you know, on Sunday, we all assembled together and, you know, because one of their family members received the great miracle, so they stopped. So, my dear friends, that's the message, you know. When you receive the miracle, yes. the glory belongs to the Lord, not for you, me. You know, we're all just the instruments, okay? You know, you, you have to check that up in uh, Isaiah 42, 1 to 7. So, whenever you hear, whenever the Lord does something, let the world know they are hungering, they are thirsty, they are blind, they are going through so much. I really challenge those people about to go for surgery, those who are scheduled for surgery, those who have so many complications, you know, the doctors painted. Oh, they say whatever they want to say because of their education. But my friends, the Lord can overrule the King of Kings and the Lord of all. You know, who has done this for you. He has ransomed and, you know, still now, you know, my dear, all these miracles, you know, you hear this, my dear friends, you know, you will see the signs and wonders, you know, you promise that, you know, the signs and wonders will follow when we proclaim His glorious name. That's why, my dear friends, you know, Mark chapter 15, the last chapter 16, uh, you, you all will read that because I already put it everything there, uh, my dear friends, you know, I just again, you know, my dear friends, because of my time constraint, you know, you have to really rejoice what the Lord can do. No matter what is your problem, bring it to Him. Bring it to Him, my dear friends. Call upon His holy name. He has eyes solved, you know, Revelation chapter 3, verse 18 to 20. But He's knocking at the door. Whoever you are, if whoever you are, whether you are a Christian or non-Christian, whether you are atheist or agnostic, whoever you are, you is knocking at your door knocking at your heart open open your heart he's gonna do an awesome thing in your life i challenge you any of my time is gone i love you all every please share this with all your friends and your neighbors even to your enemies let them receive this amazing unction from the lord sheila my dear ones you watched a great miracle open your heart let the lord come into your heart and receive him Believe yes. in Him, and great healing and blessing will happen. We love you all. See you next segment. Please share the video to your God friends. Bless God bless everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.